Hi, this is an introduction on how to use Google Forms for surveys for input from students or staff or anything you're trying to uh, collect data on. So to make a Google Form, you just hit New and More and then Google Forms. Uh, the first thing you might want to do or the last thing you might want to do is change the theme of the form. Uh, it comes up with a default theme every time uh, and you can change what that theme is simply by hitting the little eyeball here and saying, okay, I want it to look like sorry I meant hit the little palette here when you hit the palette you can just pick a color for it or you can do a whole background image thing so when you do that um, just hit there and then you get a whole slew of things that you can have uh, as the background uh, for your palette and it changes stuff up top and you have all these different ones that you can go down through uh, as far as um, picking your theme for the form Okay, this is the form up top, so I'm going to say survey on technology. That's why I did a little space thing. And then um, you don't have to put a form description. As I add questions down here, they can be completely open-ended down here. So here's the first question. I just click on it, and um, I'm going to say, oh, I want this to be a paragraph because it's going to be a survey that's doing, and... Feel and now it's open survey. Now um, allows them to put in as much as they want to. If they have to answer the question, you can click as required, meaning they can't submit the survey unless they answer the question. But you might have survey questions that are not required. And then if you add, want to add another one, you can just click add question and then put in the question pick what kind of question it is. So these are short answer gives you a very small amount of area. Paragraph is unlimited. Multiple choice lets you put in one of the multiple choice questions you want. Check boxes let you check more than one item. So if for instance you say how many of these things are an issue, you could use a checkbox instead of a multiple choice. Multiple choice and drop down only let you choose one thing. Check boxes let you choose multiple. File upload lets somebody submit something. Linear scale means like if uh, answer between one and five, five being the best. Um, multiple choice grid, just what it says, it's got a, a grid and a checkbox grid uh, is just the same thing as checkboxes. Um, basically you have rows and columns that you can check on all those as well. Uh, you can also add in between things um, text. So if you add a text box, basically it's just stuff for somebody to read. Uh, this question I'm going to throw away um, right there. Trash. There we go. So that's just something for somebody to read. You can also add images. You can add video. Um, you can make it go to a completely new section. Um, for instance, if you said, what school are you in? You could say, have them choose HS, MS, or ES, or the district office, and then they go to a different section based on, on what one. When it's all done, you can see the responses on the responses tab. And if you want to see a spreadsheet of those responses, you can just hit the button right here. It automatically puts all the answers into a spreadsheet and lets you look at it that way too to uh, collect your data a little bit well. When you are done with your form, um, and this one's going to automatically put the name of it up there up top. You can see as soon as I click there, put the same thing there. When you're done with it, you can send it out to everyone. You just hit send. You can send it via email. For instance, you could send it to all the high school staff. There we go. If you wanted to, put your subject, put whatever message in, in there, and then you can or cannot include it in the form. If you say include it in the, in the email, then the email itself has the survey questions in it. They can fill it out right there in their email on their phone um, or whatever device they're reading it from. If you don't want to do that, then it just it basically sends them a link. The other thing you want you could do is if you've got a different email going out and you just want this form to be an attachment in the link, you can go here and get this link and you just hit copy and now that's copied and you can paste that into um, a Gmail or something. If you don't like this huge link, you can hit shorten URL, and now it's going to make a shorter URL. Still not that easy to type in there, but you could copy that one instead and put that in there as well. You can also post these via Google+, Facebook, and Twitter if you want to send a form out in some other way 
possibly to the community, put it on the community uh, Twitter account or our school Facebook account. You want to put a form out there for people to be able to um, respond to. You can do it that way as well. And that is a quick introduction to Google Forms.